Thousands gathered from early in the Iraqi capital in the first visual reaction to the assassination. Under the Iraqi flag and the flags of their own Shia militia groups, they mourned an Iranian general and his Iraqi comrades. In Arabic and in Farsi, they chant death to America. The coffins snaked their way to the domed shrine of a revered 6th century Shia cleric. This felt almost like a state funeral for a military leader who was Iranian, not Iraqi, but whose influence over Shia Muslims in Iraq and well beyond was huge. Among the mourners, Iraq's prime minister. In theory, the country he heads is an ally of America. But after this, who knows? And former Prime Minister Maliki too. It was through these leaders that General Soleimani channeled Iran's national interests. It's hard to overstate the influence he was allowed to wield across the region. In Iran's complex power structure, he held arguably more strategic influence than the country's top political figures. For many years, he has had a direct line to the supreme leader, Ayatollah Khomeini, who visited the general's grieving family. They've called for the killing to be avenged. As the commander of the Quds Force of Iran's Revolutionary Guard, he trained, financed and equipped proxies across the region. He helped shape Middle Eastern moments over two decades, protecting President Assad in Syria, bolstering Hezbollah in Lebanon and steering politics in Iraq. He shuttled frequently between Tehran, Beirut and Baghdad, building the axis of Iranian influence. With the assassination, President Trump has gambled where his predecessors would not. Both Obama and Bush had opportunities to kill the general, but calculated the repercussions to be just too great. It is not at all clear what will come now. Visiting the general's daughter, Iranian President Rouhani vowed revenge. They do not realize what a big mistake they have made. They will see the consequences of their mistake, not only today, but in the years to come. In Iran's holiest city, an ominous sight, designed no doubt to jolt. Over the mosque, a red flag hoisted. It is their symbol of a battle to come. Soleimani's regional influence was bloody and destabilizing over more than two decades, but his removal by an American president whose impulse often dominates is likely to bring only more chaos to this region. Mark Stone, Sky News.